Good morning, students. Today we'll be looking at the question answers of chapter number twelve, Beyond the Earth. Uh, here's the image of the question answers, exercise questions of this chapter. So open to page number one forty four, uh, and take out your notebooks as well and start give, write the date and day, so you can note down the questions and the answers. I have included the answers in the coming part of the video, but first you have to try answering these questions by yourself. Okay. So we'll be looking at question number one, question number three, question number five, six, and seven. So we will not be doing question number two and four. So let's start with the first question. Which of the planets in our solar system receives light from the sun in the shortest time? Okay. Simply they are asking that which of the planets, the eight planets, receives the light the quickest. So think in terms of their distance from the sun. so the planet which is nearest to the sun will receive the light in a short amount of time so name that planet question number 3 what is another name of the natural satellite uh, they are simply asking the another name used instead of natural satellite so you have to write that term okay question number 5 what is the geostationary orbit Why is it necessary for communication navigation satellites to remain in the same position above the earth's surface? Okay, here they are asking two things. First is geostationary de uh, orbit definition, and second is why the communication satellites are present at the same point on the earth. You have to think about the reason why they have to be on the same point when they are orbiting the earth. I have included the answer in the coming bar, so don't uh, be afraid. Make a list of the things artificial satellites are used for. Okay, here you just simply have to write the uses where this these artificial satellites are used. For example, I will give you one example that is weather forecasting. Okay, why can the Hubble telescope see things in space that we cannot see from Earth, even with the most powerful telescopes? Okay. I'm simply asking that why the Hubble telescope is able to capture those images and information which the telescopes present on the Earth, inside the Earth, on the surface of the Earth, cannot take. So why the Hubble telescope can take it, but not the surface ones? Think about it and write the answer. Okay, pause the video from here as I am going to show you the answers. Okay, here are the answers. Okay, question number one, three, five, and six. And here's the answer. Okay, question number seven. I hope you have learned this. If you have any confusion, send me a voice note directly, uh, and I will answer you there. Thank you, Allah Hafiz.